Greetings Kishlings, Kishin Prime here with my live reaction of Dragon Ball Super Chapter 30. The title was not translated apparently. <laughs> oh god. Why is it not translated? Bad manga life. Uh, okay. Beer Suisse and Shin, also Supreme Kai. I'll probably call him Supreme Kai. I've known him longer with that name. Uh, what could they be talking about? It seems like Goku is really shocked. Shit, way to lose disgracefully. Oh yeah, he basically lost the topo, didn't he? And also, Jiren was mentioned last chapter. They're, everyone's just kind of looking on. Are you saying that J that Jiren guy is even more powerful than your universe's god of destruction? That's right. Matter of fact, they huh? <laughs> You said you were a God of Destruction candidate, so I thought you'd be the strongest for sure. Like you, Jiren has no intention of becoming a God of Destruction, you see. Goku's dumbfounded. I mean, Goku, really. I, I, there are incalculable chances that there are very powerful people that don't want any power that's just essentially given to them. You know. It won't work for it. Or just to enjoy fighting, which is all Goku's really good for these days, right? Yeah. Now there's not uh, long left before the tournament. I'll excuse myself. And that whew, mustache. <laughs> Goku's still shocked, and now he's happy. Awesome, this is perfect. Why is that? Because now he has a super strong guy to fight against, possibly. I'm happy that there's someone as strong as you. And you're telling me there's someone who's even stronger, right? I'm looking forward to this tournament. You are a strange guy. <laughs> and he goes and joins uh, Belmont. Good job. You did well. Thank you. And Beerus looks on angrily. I just love Beerus and his always angry expressions. Shit, with Goku in that shape. It'll be impossible to win. You never know. Since Saiyans become stronger at the most crucial moment. That's called plot armor. <laughs> he might be happy because he knows that. It doesn't look like he's thinking ahead like or that far. He never does. He might think ahead when it comes to in a fight, but life in general? No, it's like I take it one second at a time. Yeah, so you've agreed on that? Sounds good. Yes, understood. Wait, what's the Grand Priest talking to the Zenos about? Am I going to have to rely on that kind of miracle again? And Beerus is still freaking out. Okay, Grand Priest, looks like he's about to announce something. So everyone, after watching the results of this match, we have decided on the rules. So it's really happening. <laughs> oh, Shampa. Please select 10 warriors from each universe, excluding gods of destruction. 10 people? More than I thought. We were, we've were we changed the rules to be slightly more simple. For this tournament of power, if you make your battle opponent fall off the fighting stage, then you win. Huh? That's... What if your opponent collapses on the stage? Okay, good question, Goku. Uh, then please, throw them off. Of course, you shouldn't kill them. With the time limit for each battle uh, will be 100 ticks. And obviously, no reference to what that is. 100 ticks. In Earth time, that's about 48 minutes. 48 minutes, isn't that too long? With that many people in individual fights, it'll be never ending. And Beerus goes to the back of his head. Stop talking back. I apologize, Grand Priest. It's fine. I won't take it won't take long, so there's no need to worry. There will only be one match in other words. All warriors will be fighting to push each other off the stage. All warriors <laughs> Okay. Free for all. Battle Royale. I'm not totally 
ignorant to how some of the series goes. It's just like very detailed portions of it, but the overall strokes of this arc I kind of know from screenshots and just YouTube is a hor or not a horrible place, but if you don't want to be spoiled about anything, it's very easy. So any Dragon Ball Super video that's not specifically for what you're looking for, don't click on it. <laughs> and Facebook is that way too, and yeah. I've been spoiled on so many things. It won't be an issue. Since we will be preparing a large stage. That that's not it. <laughs> it they they're so high up they don't even see the problem with this. Uh, after everyone has fought for the designated time, the team with the most remaining warriors will win. Of course, even if the time limit is not up. If only one warrior is left standing, then their team will win. Okay, and I forget his, I forget like half their names, so I'll just refer to them by what they kind of look like, unless I do actually do recall it. Okay, you got the Mouse God. Uh, were they inspired from the Battle Royale just now? But with ten people from each universe, it'll be different just from the sheer size. Teamwork is going to be really important for this. Something that Saiyans lack. <laughs> Beerus is just like you and Vegeta. You, you might be more civil to each other than in years past, but god damn it, teamwork is not your thing. I guess that could probably stem from the fact that Saiyans are sent one at a time to a planet when they're a kid just to destroy it on their own. Or kill, or in the world, I should say, not destroy it. Hmm. There could be a psychoanalysis in there somewhere. Uh, probably not. Uh, as with the battle between universes 6 and 7, the overall winner will receive a Super Dragon Ball. So go ahead and work to have your wish fulfilled. As it is it all right, Mr. Shampa? Please pass over the three you already have. We've collected the other remaining ones. Wait. It says that they, wait, where did it say it? He'll receive a Super Dragon Ball. But he says they collected all of them. Shampa has three of them. So how many did they collect? Four? But I, I don't, something about that math don't work. Okay. Shouldn't it be the dra Super Dragon Balls? Whatever. This bastard, you collected them again, aren't you tired of it? Sh shut up. <laughs> May I please make a comment? Okay, the Supreme Kai of Universe 3, what is it? Thank you. I fully understand that we'll be rewarded to the overall winner, but what will be rewarded to the winning universe? Nothing. Uh, huh? <laughs> I see, so it's the honor of winning. No. The reward for winning is doing nothing. And confusion all around. What does he mean, doing nothing? He won't do anything to the universe, or winning universe, but it seems the Omni King intended on wiping out the losing universes. <laughs> Which I knew of this. Uh, and everyone is thoroughly shocked and now shaking with fear. Okay, mouse dude, what did you say just now? Wipe out. What? what, what, what? Beerus reminds me of Kyle Broflowski's mom from South Park. What? 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 <laughs> what did you say? Ah, uh, the expressions on Beerus in this chapter. The Omni King often says that there are too many universes, so this seems like a good opportunity. And the Zenos in the back are like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, r really? No way. <clears throat> this has turned into a bigger deal than I thought. Scratchy nose? Uh, itchy nose? It's the worst possible situation that none of us could have ever imagined. So you're saying only one universe will remain? Even Belmont looks a bit distraught. Not just one, 
and verse 1 and 12 as well as 5 and 8 will also remain. Huh, what's this? Since the humans in those universes have an average level that's higher than 7. How does that scale work? <laughs> they are exempt from taking part in this tournament. Okay, and we see those four teams. We have Ewine, I think Reen, Liquor, and the Frog Guy. I, I just can't remember all their names. I mean, the Supreme Kai's and their Angels, I could understand. But I want to remember the Gods of Destruction's names because they're all alcohol. You would think that'd be easy. We're saved. Great. Whew. Whew. All our hard work paid off. And... And doesn't the Supreme Kai from Reen's world, the the reptilian looking guy, he reminds me of Olimar from Pigman. <laughs> or Pikmin. I always say Pigman for some reason. Uh, excuse me, if our universe is wiped out, then what happens to us, okay? Uh, Rumshi has a good point there. Don't worry, all the gods apart from the guiding angels will also disappear. Well, <laughs> there's there's no way. Okay, Shampa's not happy with that one. As for the exemptions, we were to sum up the true purpose of this tournament. It seems that even though the weaker universes should inevitably be wiped out, if they win, then they'll be spared from this fate. Okay, Weiss has summed, excuse me, has summed it up. Mr. Weiss, that's as you say. Why is he referring to people by Mr.? I mean, I know that you're trying to show some level of politeness, but I mean, you're above them. You could just say whatever name you want. <laughs> I mean, that's your son, after all. Uh, look here, Weiss, this is our universe, or is our universe that weak? Out of these seven universes, the average human level is 3.18. It's definitely bad. It's second to last. S second to last? <laughs> it, it's your fault. It's because you babbled on about how it's pointless if you don't become a planet with a high level of humans through your own efforts. Why are they saying humans? I mean, there's plenty of aliens. And something tells me that Frieza might have had something to do with this. Without the Supreme Kai constantly creating planets and Frieza killing the populations of many a planet, I think he might have had a hand in the low ranking there. You're the one that who were just sleeping the whole time. This is also true. <laughs> The tournament will be taking place on a special stage in the world of Void. I will be sending you there, so each universe should gather at a place of their own choosing. Any left or late comers will be left behind, so please be warned. How much time do we have left until the tournament? Around 39 hours, it seems. Okay. Which I forget how long it, when this started. Uh, in addition, in case this happens, all the weaponry and potions are, of course, forbidden. If any are discovered, the entire team will be disqualified, so please be warned. I wonder if Frost will be doing anything. I I haven't heard anything about him cheating. But, I mean, if you can sneak in a cheat, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure someone's going to try. Then I now send you all back. There's not much time, so please prepare quickly. And with a whoa, <laughs> yeah, they're all gone. Beerus's planet. I love that it doesn't actually have a name. If you even really can call it a planet. More of like a floating palace in a void of whatever. And another whack to the back of the head for Goku. That hurt! What are you doing, Master Beerus? Or Master Beerus. I thought it was Weiss that was saying, so I had that inflection in my voice. Uh, it's your punishment for ignoring my advice. That's why I told you to ignore the Omni King. Thanks to you, it's all become total madness. It, it's not like I could help it. Never in my dreams could I have imagined it turn out like this. Wait a minute, or wait a second, Master Beerus. 
didn't the Grand Prix say that our universe was originally fated to be wiped out? So we should think of it as having a chance of surviving, thanks to Mr. Goku. Why are you calling him Mr. Goku? What is up with all the misters? <laughs> Even so, there might have been a way besides fighting. Now that things have turned out this way, our universe is going to disappear too. We're done for. <clears throat> You do forget that you have a lot of fighting potential in this universe, right? What? Don't we just have to win? Shut up, you think you'll be able to win? You couldn't even win against the guy from Universe 11. Well, that guy was really strong. and He's like, he was really strong. Ah, <laughs> oh, Goku. Happy-go-lucky until the end of all existence. You, you too. You don't have time. Now's not the time to be talking like this. He's right. You need to hurry and gather the ten warriors and form your strategy. Hmm. Must be nice for some, even if we lose, you won't disappear. Well, actually, he, if I remember right, what happens to a, an angel when their god of destruction dies, they're essentially like put into like a stasis or something. And so he'll be disappearing in a manner of speaking. <laughs> oh, 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 I've simply been delegated to guide you. Is that what it means to be a guiding angel? But the worst part of all, the people and innocent creatures who will be caught up in this, even though we were approaching a high level. That's right. Shall I try convincing the Omni King to forget about the wiping out part? Is it best to leave it? It has been decided by the Omni King and Grand Priest. If you mess with their mood, you might be wiped out right here, right now. It, is that so? <laughs> uh, huh? It's too late to be scared now. You'll just have to work hard. I see. Understood. You're still... or we'll just have to do it. Cool. We'll do it. <laughs> Let's go to where Balma is. Huh? Bulma, you mean you're going to Earth? Or we're going to Earth? Thanks to Goku, we might disappear soon. Let's take this chance to eat whatever or however however much delicious food we want. We'll discuss while we eat. Come on, there's no need to keep going on about it like that. <laughs> Goku's face. Uh, that sounds good. All ten of our ten warriors are on Earth anyway. That really just proves that they have no friends outside of the planet. Well, I guess new Namek. Okay, Universe 11. The big top. Ah, well. Beerus has really messed things up for us. <laughs> but either way, our universe will be the one to remain, no question. We also f found out that the Super Dragon Ball or whatever actually exists. It'll definitely grant you your, any wish. Yeah, that alone is a great result. Look here, Toppo. Are you able to immediately gather ten pride troopers? They're spread out at the moment. I will summon them straight away. Make sure you definitely bring Jiren. Yes. And bows. Go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so all of the gods of destruction basically have the, like a similar kind of like the platform. It's like an up upside down pyramid. Okay, and good lord, Topo needs a bigger uh, spaceship than that. Is it okay to leave it to the Pride Troopers? Hmm? What is it, Supreme Kai? Even though they're only a team of justice, are there their one team of justice it's a gathering of those with different methods uh, development and backgrounds who knows if they'll gather obediently I don't think that's going to be a problem he just made a confetti ball I, I do like Belmont he, he he reminds me of Buggy the Clown from One Piece how beautiful and what was that all about we only need one survivor to win right that's right. As long as Jiren comes, it doesn't matter who the others are. Will Jiren really come? Don't worry. That guy will definitely take part. 
But yeah, he if he's as honorable as I've heard of him, yeah, he'll probably come. It's like I must protect my universe. It is the greatest, you know, duty I could ever yeah could fulfill. Universe Seven Earth Capsule Corporation. Okay, and they're all eating what? What on earth have you done? Okay, and Vegeta's now been fo or filled in. Got it, Vegeta. I got it, Vegeta. I've been nagged enough, haven't I? I can't believe it. How much of a battle fan or maniac are you? Fanatic would have been better word. Yeah, Bulma's stressing out. She's pregnant, damn it, Goku. Why did you do this to her? And also, sad to hear that the original voice actress for Bulma passed away recently. She was one of the originals. She will be missed. Mr. Goku, you must hurry and decide on the Ten Warriors. All right. Is the Mr. part just going to be a thing now? All right, looks like there's no written test this time, so Boo can take part two. You barely passed the test, too. Hehe. <laughs> eh, Vegeta reminding him of his poor aptitude. How much of this... Good lord. This is going to be a long chapter, I hate to say. Or video. Uh, I'm not going... Uh, the baby will be here any moment now. Please, there isn't any way. There's no way you can't take part, Vegeta. Not my problem. Well, it kind of is. <laughs> Miss Bulma, there happens to be a nice blanket here. Wait, what's... What's we saw him with the blanket? Huh? What's that? What the face on Whis there? And he's looking at... See... What the... He just teleported the baby out of Bum. <laughs> uh, I didn't see that happening. Look, it's baby bra. Uh, isn't she cute? And she's already got like a little... Her head looks like a walnut. <laughs> uh, or is it a chestnut? I think it's chestnut. And he caught the baby. Ah, uh, no way. Here, Miss Bulma. Why? Weiss would be the ultimate doctor, wouldn't he? It's like, hey, you you got a tumor? Oh, that's the tumor. You got a baby? You want it out? No pain? There you go. You got a baby. Oh, look, there's twins. <laughs> you know, it's like... Oh, and the baby crying. Uh, with this, you'll be able to take part now, Miss Vegeta. I don't like the Mr. Button. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, thanks, Mr. Weiss. Thanks to you, the baby came out, or came painlessly. <laughs> it's my first time seeing a baby being born. Chi-Chi must have been born this way, too. What? <laughs> no, no, Mr. Koku. I don't think this is normal. <laughs> oh, really? It's your dad. Oh, it's a girl. I don't do good on a Vegeta voice, but I do a hell of a abridged Nappa. That's so it is. Well, hell of it. Well, doesn't matter. Yeah, stupid joke. Anyway, uh, I'd happily give birth to lots of children if it's like this. Could you do that for me again, Mr. Weiss? No problem. As long as this universe hasn't become extinct by then. Does this hint that there will be another baby in the future? <laughs> That's right. Now's not the time to be excited. Okay, and Vegeta's bringing the excitement down a bit. So it's a battle royale with all the warriors taking part at once. How many planets in Universe 7 have humans on them? Since Planet uh, Sadala, uh, Planet Vegeta, and Planet Namek have disappeared, it'll be 28. Wait, isn't there a Planet New Namek? And why are they calling them humans? Why don't you call them, like, sentients? Isn't there anyone stronger even with so many planets? I didn't observe them for the... Observe them for the per, yeah, perceptive of fighting power. What? It's your job to find out all these things. We get a, or We get called a weak universe because you say things like that. There's no use talking back. You won't be able to win against this woman, no matter what you say. <laughs> Beerus knows. Uh, you can't argue with a woman. Uh, well, we have n no time now, so we should choose from the people we know. 
<clears throat> Firstly, those who will take part continuing on from the previous universe. Mr. Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, and Boo. And Monaka. Uh, Mr. Monaka. <laughs> no, don't... De no. no way, Monaka cannot take part. Huh? Why not? Uh, that's because he's in bad shape right now. How come? You haven't informed me about the tournament yet, right? Or you informed him about the tournament? I, I told you him secretly. In any case, Monaka can't come. That's a shame. Do you think Gohan can fight? Who knows? That kid's busy. So I don't know if he can fight right now. He is one of the few Saiyans. Train him properly. That kid doesn't like to fight. How about Goten and Trunks? Don't drag kids into this. Alright, no one can find out about this. Wait, what? <laughs> huh, then... Turtle Hermit and Tian Shen Han and Krillin. Ah, speaking of Krillin, his wife, Android 18, was much stronger. Yeah, she's much stronger than most of the people you've listed. <laughs> There's a robot. Or she's a robot. Is that still okay? It's no problem. She was originally a human who was enhanced at a cellular level to become superhuman. So she's a human, right? I'll act like it didn't. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> uh, that's hard with those big ears, Barris. Is that right? If so, then Android 17 can take part too. Android 17? Yeah, he doesn't get brought up very often. Huh? Wasn't he a bad guy? Is that okay? 18 was a bad guy too. You forget this. And 16 actually changed sides before they did. So. And he was a robot. <laughs> Be it he was reprogrammed, but still. He did his part. Seems like he's not anymore. Do you know where he lives? No, since I can't detect his key. Should we ask Android 18? Oh yeah, make sure to bring back lots of sensus. Uh, we've, always, or we've always struggled because we didn't have enough. Now there's ten of us. There's always about ten of you during these kinds of crises. Uh, Mr. Vegeta, I believe that's a rule violation. What? When you say sensu, you must mean the bean that has rejuvenative properties. Since it's magic and not based on the warrior's strength, if you use it, it'll be a foul. Well, that sucks. Is that so? We're in trouble if we can't use sensu. Goku, there's no need to worry. We have Mr. Boo. Mr. Boo can use his healing magic. Oh, that's right. That's a relief. Then I'll go to where Krillin is first. Why not go after the stronger people first? <laughs> Universe 11... Planet Boss. And there's a crab monster. Kuh, as expected, you came, Proud Troopers. Okay, that dude looks like he is Weiss, or not Weiss, uh, Beerus's species. You have a dried up monster man, a little devil dude, a, I don't know, a fat headed gremlin, and a lizard guy. Let's go, everyone. Yeah, charge. Oh, there's little crap monsters. And it's just pummel after pummel. Everyone, please hurry and evacuate. Okay, and you got like a beret looking dude here. And who? Oh, one of the civilians fell. Uh oh, crab monster, and it's a child. Oh, and I bet. Oh, no, that's the beer species dude. Are you okay, young girl? Thank you. Yeah, I kicked him into a wall, he did. My children. Oh, those are that dude's children? Oh, God. Die. Oh, someone done blasted his arm off. I'm joining in, Tyspo. Hmm. F for leader to turn up now. Where on earth were you? How do you know... Wait, what planet? This is... Uh, where do you know Earth? <laughs> Different universe. I don't even know if it would be called Earth. <laughs> There was a summon from Master Belmont. Hm. Mr. God of Destruction Canada is pretty easy going, huh? Where's Jiren? Isn't he here? That guy's on planet uh, Tawar, or Tawar. It seems that there are escapees from the galaxy's prison again. Once things settle down, he said he'd come here. But I'll take, or it'll take a while. To, is it that planet of change? 
Okay, and now the giant crab monster is spewing out something. I don't know if that's liquid or foam or what. And they're all being caught up in it. He got us. Shit, I can't move my body. This is dangerous. And now the whole city's being consumed in it. All the people. You you bastard. Leave it, uh, dice bow. If you attack recklessly, the citizens inside the foam... Okay, it is foam. Uh, inside will be sucked in. Ah, ah the grinning bastard. Up, oh, is that Jiren? That's... Someone's flying in. I think that is Jiren because he has a bald head. And he just smashed into the dude from the top. And now he's being flown out into the sea and tossed up in the air and rings from a wrist mounted device oh he's being shrunk oh into a capsule <laughs> okay yep and that is Jiren good lord he has a defined buttocks <laughs> I that's what I don't like about like these form fitting outfits it's like I don't want to look at your butt <laughs> uh, Jiren, that was quick. Wasn't there a problem on planet to, to where? I took care of the... I don't even know how to pronounce that. Osirireto Saijin? So I came here. Did you seriously fly here from the planet to where? Without using a spaceship? Yes, it was faster. You really are out of the, out of the ordinary. Good, let's do a full regroup. I have something to say to you all. Wait. We need to free the citizens first. Ah, he's a good guy, true and true. Uh, or through and through. Uh, Jiren is someone who devotes everything to justice. He's not swayed by selfish reasons. It's even against his principles to kill someone, even if they're evil. Which I guess it's good that he has that capsule-making device, huh? But even so, there's one thing that'll... Uh, be a wish he wants fulfilled even if it means throwing away those principles so you're saying that that wish can be granted with the Dragon Ball reward that's right so if you intend on using the Dragon Ball as bait please refrain from using phrases that could be misunderstood uh, Margarita that's that guy's own wish. I'm simply giving him the opportunity. Okay, so Belmont's not a bad guy, but what is this wish? Ch guess it can't be helped. I could rely on Topo, so I guess I'll show my face too. Supreme Kai, take me to where he is. Understood. I do like the balancing act between the gods. You know, the Kais can teleport, but the gods of destruction can't. They're, you know... So there, there's a nice balance so that they actually do have to work together from time to time. And it, it goes to show further with their balancing act of like one creates while one destroys. And then you have the mediator, which is the angel. Uh, okay, back on, what was it, boss? You were scared, right? It's all fine now. Okay, the scouter robotic eye parade, dude. Thanks, mister. I'm sorry, but I will sit out on this mission. Protecting the universe is peace comes first. What, what are you saying, Jiren? If we lose this battle, there will be no universe to protect. Also, it's only 48 minutes. I mean, sure, a lot can happen in 48 minutes across a whole universe, but it's for the greater good, you know. Uh and if you can just fly from planet to planet, I think you can do this. Uh, if that's the case, then that's our universe's fate. I have no intention of protecting our universe if it means having to destroy other universes. Okay, it makes more sense. Is that it? You'll lose everything you tried to protect. Is that really the, f the justice you believe in? Oh, he's struggling with that one. There's a chance that you can have your wish granted if you win, Jiren. Okay, so Belmont showed up. And I've heard that uh, Jiren is basically one of the, the greys. You know, the big-eyed, big-headed aliens that are stereotypical of sci-fi. Uh, and also, uh, 
an allegory for if I'm using that word right uh, of Superman <laughs> uh, M Master Belmod for Master Belmod or Master I've been saying Mister so long today for Master Belmod himself to come this must be serious all the proud troopers are freaking out so you're taking part right L look Jared Master Belmod is asking you directly if there are any issues on Universe 11, I'll take back straight away. Or I'll come back straight away. That's my condition. Alright. If that's it, then fine. Okay, so Belmod has a weird look on his face, and that's the end of the chapter. Also, I'm very sorry about the length. It's 35 minutes. I just had a bunch of thoughts. But, yeah. I, I do think... I do like the whole balance of the deities, as I mentioned, and then with Jiren now being introduced, very well might become my thumbnail, but uh, it just, it's overall a good chapter, I mean, maybe a little wordy, and the, the last part was very amusing, you see the Pride Troopers in action and stuff, so, eh, overall, it was too wordy, they could have cut it down a lot. So I'll only give it a 3.5. It had substance, but just a lot of that was a little bit of repeat and character reactions. So I didn't like that as much. Though the expressions on Beerus were awesome. But anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Keishan Prime, And I'll see you next time. Keishlings, roll out.